What's happening, everybody? I am DadBod. If you are just joining us, well, I'm glad that you're here, but shame on you. There have been a ton of awesome tassers throughout this entire event. Big shout out to everyone. Lots of uh, lots of money coming in, but we still need some more. What's up, chat? <laughs> see the love. I see the love. Whew, this feels good. I'm excited. I hope you guys are all very excited, too. Once again, Task Giving benefits the National Alliance on Mental Illness. It's the nation's largest grassroots mental health organization dedicated to building better lives for the millions of Americans affected by mental illness. You can read more by going to NAMI.org or donate now. Go to the link donate.taskgiving.org. We want to see a ton of dollars in. I already got my donation in. I know a bunch of the folks in our voice chat also did, so I hope you will as well. So we are kind of like the last uh, the last event before the grand finale, and I'm really excited to bring this to you. Uh, if you do not know, uh, Celeste obviously holds a, a dear place in all of our hearts. As you can see, the chat just blowing up, and Celeste got some great, great attention. It's a fantastic game, but the modding scene is fantastic. I gotta take a second just to shout out the modding scene. Awesome people, a lot of great, helpful people. And, you know, what we're about to show you is something totally new if you're not familiar with Celeste modding. And it's just like a labor of love. It's really hard to explain, like, all that went into this. There are so many people that helped put this together. And before I introduce the, uh, the tasking team who's on commentary right now, I just kind of want to show off a little bit about what this mod is, what it's about, how it works. For those of you who are interested in Celeste or you've seen some gameplay or maybe you've just beaten the, uh, the core game, there is so much more to it than, uh, than just the vanilla game. The modding scene is huge. There's tons of great challenges. And this is just a, a great example of what has been made possible. So the 2020 Celeste Community Collab is uh, kind of, like I said, a labor of love. Uh, we had over 100 different com contributors for this. I mean, just from a music team, you know, we, we kind of broke everything up into separate teams. So obviously you had your mapping team, people who put the maps together. We had over 60 mappers, many people making multiple maps in here. Uh, big shout out to the music team, because if you have played this already, the soundtrack is just totally banging. The soundtrack actually is available on most streaming platforms. One of the really cool things that we did when we started doing all of this, I reached out to the, uh, the actual devs of Celeste, and we wanted to take the album and put it up for sale. But we wanted to donate that money to, uh, you know, to a good organization, and we asked them kind of what their thoughts were. And they reached out and said uh, Trans Lifeline. Obviously, we have a huge, awesome uh, trans community, LGBTQIA. Like, everybody has been amazing, like, super supportive. And we wanted to be able to give back. So Trans Lifeline has gotten uh, the majority of all the proceeds. So far, the, uh, the collab soundtrack has hit 50,000 plays. And we've raised over $500 in just uh, album sales, not to mention over $4,000 uh, when we did the uh, Modberry Cup, Mr. Majama. Uh, put together a really, really awesome fundraiser for that too. We raised a ton of money for them. So I kind of wanted to dig into this really quick, show you what this is all about, and then we're going to get into one of the craziest tasks you've ever seen. I promise. Hopping in. As we can see here, this map is separated into lobbies. And I've got to say, first and foremost, huge shout out to Jade. Jade is the creator of a program called Everest, which makes all of this possible. Uh, Jade pretty much had to tear this entire game apart and put it back together to make this work the way that we wanted it to work. And as you can tell, we're in a giant overworld and there are over, well, actually there are a hundred maps in here. And in each lobby, as you can see, we're in the beginner lobby. Each, uh, each lobby carries anywhere between, I think it's what, like uh, 15 and 28 different maps that you can access through here and they are all gated behind different difficulties. So we have an intermediate lobby and they all have different themes. Obviously you can kind of tell what some are. Big shout out to our spriting team. You can tell there's a lot of custom assets that were put into here. The clouds uh, have been changed into these sweet little leaves. I love them. 
but and on the one lobby that I promised to not go into is the Grandmaster lobby because we're saving that one for last. Uh, so really quick, a breakdown of how our teams went because we started this in January and we released this on Farewell's anniversary. So it's it took us a good, geez, over eight months to put all this stuff together. Uh, another big shout out, obviously, to Kruor. Kruor is the one who made Ahorn, which is the program that allows us to build maps. Uh, so, f excuse me, the teams, <laughs> I got really lost for a second. Everything was broken down into teams and that is really how everything was managed really well. Big shout out too to Bissy, who was kind of the one of the big admins, making sure everything went smoothly. Uh, first, obviously, our mapping team, over 60 different mappers put all this stuff together. Our music team, as we said, big shout out, small team, but they put together a soundtrack with over 50 original songs. Every mapper who wanted a song got their own tune, which was insane. Our deco team's job was to make sure that every single map looked unique, but it also looked like it could be something that would fit into the vanilla game. It didn't look like it was fan-made, uh, and it, just an insane job. Uh, with that, we also had our playtesting team that spent just thousands of hours just going through this to make sure there was no jank if you will. <laughs> uh, another big shout out to our coding team, because as you're about to see, there are a ton of custom assets. Obviously we see sub chapter menus that we can skip between different maps. That wasn't possible before. We have a, uh, a journal here that we can see each, uh, each map inside the collab, our progress, how many berries we've collected, how many deaths with the lowest deaths, the, the time, best time. And obviously since this is uh, for speed run, each map includes a different type of strawberry. You're used to collecting strawberries, uh, but these will actually, they're tied to a specific amount of time. Uh, we call them speed berries, obviously. So if you collect your berry and you finish the map in a set amount of time, you collect that berry. And there's a obviously a bronze, gold, and silver for all of them. That took a ton to get programmed in. Uh, also, big shout out to our spriting team. Spriting team had to make some custom assets. You can see some of these things here, like just don't normally exist in the game, certain tile sets. Uh, our speedrun team were the people who who spent just crazy amount of hours finding like the most ideal strats uh, to a lot of uh, a lot of uh, streamers' chagrin because I know there are some people who uh, may or may not have gotten a little upset at some of those speedruns, but. Before I turn it over to the task team, just a couple other quick notes because, you know, I realize that there are a lot of people who have played Celeste, they enjoyed the core game, and maybe they want more, but most of the mods, frankly, are just really, really, really difficult. And that might not be your level of skill. So that's why we initially created different difficulty lobbies. So in the beginner lobby, it pretty much uses just vanilla game tech. As we get into a little bit more advanced, we can swing into the advanced lobby. This is where things start to pick up in difficulty, but we wanted to make sure that if you weren't familiar with like how that difficulty you know, goes, or if there's certain tech that you might not know, we included a gym for every single level of difficulty. And what's really cool about this, there are certain moves. We could see the neutral climb and it will actually give us a full detailed description on how to do it. Plus, you can see Madeline just doing her thing up there. So we can see, okay, this is how you do a neutral. Who would have guessed that I would have gone to the neutral? So it's it's really nice, especially as you get to the, the like latter parts of this map. And there's just some, some things that you don't know how to do. This is going to make sure it teaches you. Another really neat feature that we implemented was a return to lobby. And it's just nice so you don't have to go to the map and, and start all over again. You can just continue uh, back where you started in the lobby. So I can't say enough. Like the, the coding team did an amazing job. Like everyone put in an insane amount of hours. I couldn't even start to calculate the amount of total hours that we all put in doing all the things that were necessary to make this happen. And I know that I speak for the entire modding community that worked on this. This is like, we are truly proud of this. and. The reception has been amazing. It's like hard to put into words. Like I'm, I do my best to hop into people's streams on uh, on Twitch or YouTube as often as I can to just like 
say, hey, how's it going? How are you liking things? And the, the reception has been overwhelmingly positive and you hit me right here. I love you guys. Thank you so much. So as I said before, so 100 maps in this collab, this is the longest Celeste task ever written. We had over 20 people working on this task for months. Literally thousands of hours went into this. Obviously, I can't have everybody on here, but I do have a few people with me to help me out to kind of go over all the things that made this possible. And uh, and then we're going to give some shout outs to that team and then we're going to get it underway. I am joined today here with uh, with Vamp. Say hi, Vamp. Howdy. <laughs> Yo. I'm also here with uh, Tyron. Hello. Boom. Katizer. Hey, y'all. Yo. And uh, last but not least, Sasha Bell. Hey. Yeah. All right. Take it away. I am. Uh, you're going to not see this like... face anymore. Sasha's about to take it I away like and uh, give a shout out. Peace out. I think we were supposed to be doing a. Yeah, um, a tech like tutorial it. for some of the basic tech, so that pe for people who don't who haven't played the game. That's why we went to the gym. That's fine. Take it away. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> sure. Um, okay. So credits. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So um, a lot of people worked on this tasks uh like 20 people and i'm just gonna run through um everyone who contributed um so we have Deluc h dan universe cat fish mcmuffins glipperel katizer land villa lm jacks marlin masrock 9 ml seg nebs rich connor gmn sasha bell squeal the roboman t row 5457 trujan tyron vamp Artillery, and last but not least, Weefer. Um, and with that, um, I guess take it away. You ready, Dadbod? Oh, I'm ready to go. Dadbod, you need to go live in Discord so that we can see it. Yeah. <laughs> that somehow got missed. There we go. Okay. All Ooh. right. Let's go. <laughs> so already done. That was the prologue. Um. It's so fast that it went on screen before we even connected to the stream. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So something we're talking about um, with lobbies is that um, they have no clear like route through them. Usually, they are very. There are many different routes you can take. Um, and so a program was written to um, take a list of input files and build uh, what's called a graph in computer science out of them and then uh, solve them with a, a traveling salesman problem, I believe, or something similar to that. And that's how, that's a big part of how lobbies were optimized. The, the lobbies being the hubs um, that contain, that access the the different um, maps. Yeah, you, so in this map, you, there are a lot of battlings, and you cannot skip any of them. Yeah, the screen will actually just not scroll, um, which is one of the more annoying things. Uh, we're going into our could. first. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we're going into the first puzzle level. Um, and there's a lot of crazy CO movement uh, from experience. It's very hard to task anything with uh, throwables. Yeah, throwables. Um, Neutrals are disabled in this map, but the task just does that anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think a couple of things to mention are, are um, the door boosts, while well, the door G Ultra cancels. Um, so if you do a. Um, Crouch like a dash while crouching, um, you get extra speed 1.2 times. And if you run into a door and then jump, then when the door disappears, you'll keep that speed through the door. 
Yeah, the way um, it works is usually when Madeline dashes into the ground, the game usually wants to kill her speed when that dash ends. But if you happen to be in front of a door that's disappearing, you can just keep the speed. Yeah, and uh, that also applies to throwables like Theo and um, and the jellies. Pause buffer time. Oh yeah, so pause right. buffer. Funny, <laughs> funny pause this buffer time. This, this th th that that pause buffer that was invisible for some reason. Um, that saved one frame of IGT. And Does anybody want to explain what pause buffers do? Uh, they let oh. you hold jump without jumping. <laughs> yes. It's a, it's and, a very uh, technical tech. Okay, yeah. so right here is my biggest contribution to this task. <laughs> just go through the side. Uh, there's a screen the transition screen. up there. Um, and so if you crouch jump through uh, those spikes, you'll end up skipping that whole room, which saves about six seconds. Oh, uh, yes. And this is the Marlin this is funny. for that rat. Yeah. Uh, you so there's a ceiling there, and when you bonk on walls as the feather, all your speed can be redirected um, anywhere since, yeah. Also, no shoutouts to that um, that cycle, which was terrible, and um, lost all of the time that we saved, pretty much. Something worth mentioning is spinners. is It's the internal name for um, these kind of circular spikes that are not placed up against walls. Um, I, I don't know why they're called that, but... People are used to it, Don't but spin. Yeah. what's important about them is they are not continuous with their hitboxes. They generally, if you're using the default grid settings, there is a four pixel gap between the hitboxes and spinners. This particular and, map uh, yeah, this one, this has one. Uh, some non-grid aligned spinners, which makes it impossible to go through those gaps, which is very annoying for us tassers. But, yeah, it's possible yeah, to dash demos. as a crouch hitbox. <laughs> yeah, so we need to explain demos. Do it. Yeah, right there. <laughs> so basically, uh, in the first four frames of your dash, it hasn't actually decided which direction you're going to dash yet. So if you press it down, it'll uh, make you crouch. And then if you switch directions before the fifth frame of your dash, uh, you'll do a normal dash, but with the crouched hitbox. Yeah, and you can't chain um two of those together so if you try to which which will so if you're like if you see stuff and you think oh why don't you just demo twice in a row um it's because you can't um if you have already have a crouched hitbox and you try to do another dash um then oh, you'll please. just um it, it uncrouches you automatically just, just take so you have to right wait there. just get some mappers room. like to place spinners of three pixels apart manually because by default, it's by four pixels. Just to be mean. Yeah. Oh, uh, did we already pass the five pixel crouched map yet? Uh, that's guess just I don't think we have yet. So my, okay. my particular role in this task was being the mad scientist. And this level uh, right here, uh, there is if you could get like a ridiculous amount of speed, you could theoretically skip hitting that box, but it's just not feasible, which is one of the most disappointing things about this <laughs> map. It's a lot yeah. of disappointing things in Celeste Tassing. We so make up for yeah. a lot of cool stuff that actually does work, so. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the cool stuff that does work definitely does make up for it, but I think uh, it's always frustrating to spend hours trying to do something and then it's just barely not possible. Um, and then, uh, and it's something that would save like a lot of time, but it, you just, it just yeah. can't quite make it. Yeah, that's always unfortunate. Right now that we see a bird, one really weird property about birds is that if you die in that room, birds just randomly decide to just fling you farther. And we have no reason why it works. It's true. Um, I, think, I think we I do, also... it's just really technical. That also works with other things like battle line bosses. Um, so battle line is like the antagonist of the game. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was not a desync. <laughs> that was just wasting was... time because was... uh, they want to do one of those uh, door ultras. Um, yeah. yeah. I was terrified that it desynced. So <laughs> I simply know that ultra equals a lot of speed. Yeah, it's 1.2 times. 
And yeah. if you chain them, it stacks. Yeah, this speed one. multipliers as opposed to additions are yeah. very broken. And so yeah, one of the things that yeah. the devs made in this game was that there's no speed cap on Madeline. So they tried to make the movement very technical and like limitless. And oh, we're uh, gonna it, see that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> gonna abuse absolutely, that. Yeah. So this is a very flexible game in a lot of ways. Oh yeah, and definitely. The, and a lot of it is, I mean, it's all in, intent. Well, it's not all intended, but it's all. Um, yeah. It, it, the the devs purposely made it um, very oh. open. <laughs> so. To, to, it's a 2B bait, look at There are some ulters right there. Actually, those weren't, I think those were some uprights into corner. Bits. So, you may have uh, seen those demo dashes and thought, why didn't you just go through the lower ones? Um, the reason why is because if you're uh, too close to the ground and you dash, you'll like stick to the ground. And so you'll actually get yeah. pulled inside of that spinner. Yeah, yeah. so it's corner correction. We and also corner correction is... Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's not, not really. It's just pulling you to the ground. Well, but... it's it's the similar type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yes. Okay. I tried for so long to get a crouch jump through those spinners at the beginning and never managed. Yeah, and I was so sad. But yeah, there the is a crouch included, jump coming. Up. Yeah, the oh, devs include a lot of yeah. game tech to basically right make here. the game easier nice. for like casual players, like adding okay. leniency to any kind of movement. Right, and we yeah. as cathers abuse that to... Oh yeah, one of the... I think one of the most... Um, one of the best examples of something like that is uh, something that we call wall boosting, which was in t initially added as a... Um, as a way to do neutral jumps if you um, forget to release... Um, yeah, if, grab you, if you... Or if you just hold away, like, one frame to right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and the game. thing is, is that what what that meant is that um, you, what you can do is you can use your climb jump and turn away, and then um, you get your stamina back, because and you also um, get 130 speed in the opposite direction. Well, ish. And the, the reason um, why is because the game essentially treats it like you just did a wall kick, which is when you. However, um, yeah. However, the difference is is that. Um, you actually get a bit less speed, and also it's delayed. Yeah. So you can just chain them on walls to climb faster. You can also um, do them instead of um, corner boosts oh. um, to make your speed quickly. <laughs> that would be like upright. Oh, that was right there. The upright. <laughs> oh yeah. Really precise, and was uh, it was precise enough that we figured out that the hit, the spinner hitboxes were wrong and had to fix them. Yes. That yeah, that was that was literally that was the map. <laughs> that was the map that made um Le, uh read like, like create a mod to fix the spinner hitboxes because we were just like what is going on? Yeah, so yeah. Oh, yeah. um we have a hitbox here in the game. So that dem that upright demo was originally done it turned out to be not needed, but it was done with a Desmos calculator and an Excel spreadsheet. Also, Mossy Caverns. Oh, oh God! Here we okay. go. Okay. Here Let's we go. go. Okay. Um. Right. So, um, this level is terrible for tassing because um, it's analog movement. But not only is the analog movement, it's analog movement, but with extra pain. So, um, the thing is, is that um, the X and Y are not connected at all in terms of your speed. Um, and what this means is that um, in optimal turning, you don't want to just hold a different direction. No, 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 no. You want to input like five different frame perfect inputs to make sure that the angle changes gradually to make sure you lose as little speed as possible, which means that every single turn has like five frame perfect inputs and they all have to be calculated individually to make sure that the turning angles are optimal. And, and it took so long and it was so frustrating. Yeah. There is some contact though. Like three times. Yeah. This PTSD. This is. Yeah. Half of, the, um, half of the things in this task are actually impossible to perform on keyboard because they require analog input. Yes. First, here I made a draft for like five hours where it was just all deep. And, was... <laughs> and then yeah. and then Larry was like, hey. underwater. <laughs> This might be a thing, there's and some, it was, and it was the worst thing ever. There's some core, uh, there's some core tech I wanted to point out. So uh, one thing you probably won't notice it, 
Um, if you alternate, it, when you enter water, your speed, um, your, your X and Y speed are higher than the maximum. And so if you alternate pressing left, uh, like right and down or right and up, um, you can maintain that maximum and oh, just below maximum for like quite a while. And that saves a bit of time. It depends on the, the place that you use it. And another interesting thing that you can see right there, you can see that she moves slightly. That's because um, the way these bubbles work is that they're basically just retextured of wind. And um, when you exit wind, there's like a cooldown period where you where it still pushes you. However, if you're against a wall, um, you don't get pushed. Um, and so you can almost store the kind of the wind cooldown effect and use it for later so that you can maintain more speed and not bonk into the wall. We also never explained water funny. boosting. That's kind of also, also important. Yeah, when you're, oh, yeah. When you're in the um, water, you can jump every frame. When you're yeah. the surface. That's used, yeah. in, that's used in quite a lot of things. Um, I mean, yeah. Every jump. Oh, that's yeah. annoying. You can save at least 20 frames in a room and have all of it be lost to cycles, and it's a painful experience. Oh, we're gonna see plenty of that. <laughs> Not yeah. to give my impression here. Celeste testing is usually pretty painless. Yeah, in the previous... Not always, though. Yeah, in the previous map yeah. with those battle and blocks, you had ML Seg like, save two seconds, and they all got eaten to cycles, and then Vitillary came back later, save ten frames, and then save back all of those two seconds, because it skipped the cycle. That retry gives you better cycles? Yeah. Also, it's... there was jumping off spikes there. <laughs> just do that. Yeah, this section where you just kind of yeah. ignore the spikes. Yeah. yeah, Madeline just doesn't care about the wave. They're just a suggestion. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, so the way that spikes work is they only kill you if you're moving um, towards them. Or, but what, sorry, I should just say if you're not moving away from them. That's more accurate. Um, if you're moving away from them even slightly, they will not kill you. And also, if you're on a moving platform, if a platform moves into you, then that does not count. And so that's how we can jump off of things, um, off of spikes and stuff like that, is because yeah. it's moving platforms or being pushed by wind and stuff like that. Uh, the reason that for that is really oh. technical and would probably go beyond what we could explain yeah. at this time. <laughs> so, unfortunately, it's we can't. Yeah. I could say, like, the game moves Madeline, and then it checks for collision, and then it moves the block. So it checks yeah. for collision before the block moves. Yeah. Madeline's in our main, our main uh, our player character. Yeah. Can I get and, a couple um, animations in here while there's a wall? Oh. Sure. Uh, sure. Yeah, this is not too... Okay. Let's we go. got a uh, hundred from the Axeman. Uh, thanks for the, everyone for the support for this great event. Let's keep... Keep things going just a little longer and see that Grandmaster section. Let's Absolutely. Go. And then we've go. got yeah, 10 from Dune Theory. Yeah. Loving these insanely technical Celeste strats. Um, and then we've got also got um, 10 from Troy Faithens, middle of, in the middle of export, and still want to see Tatsbot destroy my ego with this skill. <laughs> Yeah, when Dadbot told me to unmute, I literally accidentally opened Photoshop. <laughs> nice one. Okay. Ooh, shout out to Robo for finding that one. That's yeah. a really neat strat. <laughs> That's, That's um... insane. Also yeah. funny, funny cat. And then this, uh, uh, this is really easy. You can do it RTA. Wait. Um, Excuse uh, me? So, yeah. so yeah. the vertical level transition right there uh, extends to the left, so you can enter from the wrong area. Somebody just disrespected my map. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, the tile set in this map is amazing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Should we explain? We can explain multiple block boosts. Um, so, the way that we get lots of speed from moving blocks is that basically, um, if you, when you do certain actions, they, um, you gain speed from them and the block boosts you. And these also happen occur okay, nine frames after you leave. Um, a block and um, so every single so dash you... and jump done just gives yeah. you an extra block boost so you can get a multiple like sets of speed that just throw so mad how... across the map and that's how we get so much speed off of moving blocks that's why it's so broken and yeah. we will see um, some very fast so these are jumping moving... fields <laughs> oh yeah. yeah so yeah, these are one fields. of the new uh, custom mechanics and they're uh, very useful. 
because you can do a technique called the hyper uh, where you uh, cancel a down dash by jumping or doing anything similar um, and it gives you a, a speed boost those are intended um, they were manually programmed in yes and they're the main way we get speed throughout any Celeste test. Oh, yeah. yes, two on Monson. Except okay. um, so this is this, 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 this task is a dashless map, and there are a few of these. And dashless movement is very technical, but not as flashy. Um, right. One of the, the, the ways that we get speed um, is, um, to, is a double corner boost. So if you have low enough speed, um, you can climb jump once and then. Um, Climb jump again, and you'll get two corner boots to, for around plus 80 speed, as opposed yeah, to just plus the reason, 40. The reason why, and so, uh, yeah, the reason why that works is because uh, if you're at a low enough speed, you can position yourself so that um, even after the first corner boost, you're still not touching the wall. Yeah. So yeah, corner um, boots. If and, you climb jump at the top of the wall, you just get a speed boost because that's how jump works. Yes. I just like to give. And here, speed. by the way, here we. Around 300 speed, so which yeah. is the speed of a hyper. <laughs> yeah. The most important thing that about was, that was really fun is not not the boost itself because it's usually pretty small. Um, it's the fact that your speed going into it is preserved. Yeah. And yeah, doing really, something really quick like here. a dash, which is fast. dashes, and dashes. Yeah, you yeah. can conserve speed from dashes oh. using corner boost. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit yeah. about this. So we saw that that heart gate open up, um, yeah. and you know, so we kind of programmed something in kind of late game, and I think it was Bissy who had like the main idea for this. So this is called the heart side, and the heart side is a grouping of pretty much all the maps in the difficulty as one final challenge, and I think that's you know it's kind of important to to know because that does provide some of the, the craziest challenges. I don't want to take too much time. You guys take back over, but that's what we're looking at right now is the, the heart side. Just the yeah, final chapter the in longest. each lobby. These are some yeah, of the longest like, maps. Yeah, they're, they're significantly longer than everything else. Uh, so there we had a bunch of extra boost or uh, jumps. And so we basically used them to uh, water boost in the air by just jumping a bunch. Yeah. Um, I can't I can't believe we didn't we, we explained multiple block boosts before we explained hypers. That's an interesting <laughs> order to, to explain Don't worry things. About it. Oh yes, yeah, more more dashes, more lots of movement. Uh, um, I'm just gonna quote you from the original showcase. Uh, please never make a, a yes. dashless water map <laughs> please, ever again. Please never, please never ever ever make another one. I never want to do this again. It took so long. Please don't. Yeah. Ever every, make a dashless water map? Every ever single again. one of those Thank uh, analog inputs is precise to at least two decimal points. Yes. And it took so long, and I never want to do it again. And everyone hates feather movement. And I like feather movement. And the one reason I like feather movement is because it's not water movement. Oh, that's okay. So we skip all the coins in that area because we can just oh, yeah. do that next to the key door. The coins, uh, yeah, I should probably explain coins. So coins are an alternative name for switches, or vice versa. A lot of stuff in this game doesn't really have a name, and the community comes up with five different names for stuff. Yeah. But you sure. collect these coins by just touching them, um, and then once you've collected all of them in a room, then a block will move out of your way, usually, or into the way. And sometimes you don't have to collect them if you don't want to. Yeah. Well, right. well, we've just entered intermediate now, so we're gonna start by uh, going over this here. Is, this is the longest um, lobby, I think. Oh yeah, there. Yeah, there was. This, this there took were... a really long time to route out the lobby for, I think. Oh yeah, I can explain the lobby routing for this map or for this difficulty. So this yeah. lobby is sorted is is just a big circle. Most of them are pretty open, but this one's just. A loop. So you have two options, clockwise or counterclockwise. That um, gave so like many it options. It, <laughs> it made it, yeah, way too complicated. There were, I think, like 83 files used for this oh, lobby. Yeah. Oh. And 
then oh, we course, yep. use the, the program <laughs> to figure out the best combination of files. Yep. Oh, um, I, I guess I should mention quickly the reason the the swag stuff after the, co the heart collection is due to the fact that when you bonk into hearts, they give you speed away from them. And so if you don't have a dash and then you um, hit the heart and then dash to collect it, um, you can dash away from it and it um, kind of keeps your... It flings you away and it just kind of looks... It doesn't save any time, it just looks... So you may have wanted. noticed uh, that one room where we... Uh, immediately retry what? and the reason why um <laughs> basically respawn triggers uh still won't like change your respawn point if you uh retry on the first frame you enter a room and so the default or the closest spawn point is further into that room uh and it skips yeah and it's, it's it saves like i think it saves like almost two seconds that's, that's a very right. recent. Yeah, very yeah that was very that's recent. That was literally in the past yeah. week. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, so this test as a whole uh, has been worked on for a very long time, and it's. We're still finding it wouldn't be, stuff. It would be unfair uh, to say it's optimized, but we just keep finding new stuff. Yeah, I mean, so even this, the stuff that we've done that isn't. Um, that isn't a, even in this showcase because it was, was found so recently. Um, no, right. No. Yeah, there, there's... Yeah, there's, there's only a couple yeah. of things, but yeah. If this so... gets showcased again, uh, you know, maybe at a, <laughs> a certain, you know, event... What are you saying? Um, oh, you know, a... um, yeah, so... <laughs> so um, maybe then, too close uh, to hear, uh, maybe uh, it's, 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 you know? There's no Theo in this crystal, but everybody keeps calling it Theo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love, I so love watch the closely going. here. We get a bunch of block boosts off of core blocks because you can just corner boost and then dash into Theo. <laughs> yes. Also, we got into a spot we weren't supposed to get into. You're supposed to throw Theo up there, but you can also get into that area with the trampolines and you just get like teleported because you hit a bunch of trampolines. Here's claustrophobia. Here's <laughs> this is the longest map. Yep, yeah, longer than it, heart size even. I was gonna touch this map, but it has. Uh, yeah, uh, so I can't much imagine. Into it. Yeah, the, I can't imagine the amount of routing that had to go into to this. There's just so many working parts. I oh. Yeah, I think almost been, no chambers are done correctly. Yeah, I think I spent uh, three weeks with this uh, on Lane Villa. This this core or this particular key. Uh, the reason why we're not dashing is because you'll lose it if you. Um, if you dash while you have just it. Just another custom entity. Yep. And maybe we try there to keep the box, because you can bring boxes between rooms and that makes it incredibly useful to just skip cycles like right here, or you can entirely skip puzzles. The camera there is kind of weird because it makes it look like there's a big like gap, but there's actually like flooring underneath. So you can just walk. <laughs> Throw the box oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Disrespect. <laughs> Just barely taps it. Yeah, boxes' hitboxes are bigger than their actual hitbox, so it can reach inside of walls to touch coins. Is it like, um... Oh, I think that that's just also coin hitboxes are slightly oh, yeah. weird with certain things. Using the respawn mechanic. Like with feathers right? as well. Yeah, um, so that's so similar with... to uh, what we did earlier in, with the respawn. Um, yeah, so the, the coin, coin hitboxes, especially with feathers, are very weird. And I don't get how they work. You just, um, like, but you climb. don't... You, uh, you don't need to be really near the, the coin if you're in a feather to actually collect it. Um, it'll just do it. And so there's times that it doesn't really look like you should be collecting coins, but you do. Yeah, there's a, there's a coin inside of there, but we just throw the box on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> You can see the particle effects and nothing else. Yeah, something oh, that, they That's a really cool strat where you uh, sit in the jump through and grab the box and then go back down. Uh, those are supposed to be one ways where you can go up, but then you can't go back down. Speaking of jump throughs, who wants to talk about the upside down jump throughs? <laughs> oh, so uh, there was a custom entity um, added. I mean, there's uh, a custom entity. Yeah. Where basically it is, um... You can see it right here? Upside yeah. down, hiding the key. We should explain it's basically... Yeah, so jump-throughs are those little platforms uh, you see, where they have, uh, 
they like stick out and they like little skinny ledges. Um, and upside down jump threes are sort of, I mean, it's self-explanatory. They're that, but upside down. But there yeah, is used a glitch. To be an old bug where if you uncrouched while underneath a jump through, it just let you through. And there was a lot of controversy around patching it or not. And it made it into the final, like, original published version, and then they patched it out, um, which caused lots of chaos. We should, we should probably explain half of the maps. Were yeah, the water. <laughs> yeah, let's explain. Let's get into this. But, yeah. So, um, there was a bug in the in the way that water worked, where it would like push you down um, when you exited it. So to fix this. Um, Water gave you a 1.1 times speed boost. Um, then Everest got patched and it was no longer necessary, but this map was made before that, and so it uses um, the 1.1 times it. speed boost as a mechanic. Yeah, and so it's it it's, it works very in a very weird way. So it it, it it can apply twice, like once when you exit it, and then once when you like exit it again. It's 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 pretty weird. Yeah, you can yeah. build up a ton but of speed in these water bombs. Yeah. As we see. <laughs> yeah. So the water yeah. column is just... pass only. The holding water, the water columns are, you know, you just do it, do it by holding and jump. But yeah. water boosting afterwards is test only. That's that how you amazing. get all the speed. You have space mode where the screen wraps. So Madeline, when she enters the bottom, she comes out on top. And it makes passing slightly slowly because she just likes to float around and physics are all messed up. And also, yeah. uh, you move slower horizontally. That doesn't stop the task from just being incredibly fast. Because it doesn't affect dashes, so... If we dash a lot, it doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah, I think that, that, that applies to everything that slows, yeah. that, um, slows you down. So it applies to wind, it applies to space mode. It, um, anytime there's something that kind of... So, well, other than actual slowdown um, from, like, say, Ochiro or um, Seekers, um, if you dash, it will counteract it. This works both with and against you, so if there's wind pushing you in the correct direction, then dashing also um, will negate the wind effect. So sometimes it can be slower to dash when there's wind um, than it is just not dash. Um, so this but it does also work with people who against wind. This puzzle is the only one that's done really differently than normal. That was a spinner dash refresh, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> with the moving block, and you can't skip this cutscene, unfortunately. So, so with regular spikes, they made it so that if you're on the ground while in spikes, you don't get your dashes back. But with those particular types of spikes, spinners, um, we don't, or it just, they don't have that check. So you can get your dash back. Uh, the window of pixels that you have to be in is a lot tighter, um, but it is useful in quite a few places. So whoever thought you'd see the jellyfish at Celestial Resort? Yeah, and electricity. Yeah. I guess they they they, they got it. Took it to the twenty twenty first century, you know. <laughs> Really sad that that watchtower, uh, or sorry, the binoculars are like uh, too far away from that big gap of electricity. Because if you move uh, your camera far enough off screen uh, with the binoculars and then exit them, you can deload that electricity. Um, but unfortunately, you can't get quite far enough down to. Uh, I guess. I guess we can also explain. Oh. Um, I we, can, we should explain it. So roof cut. Um, at the beginning of that screen um, is something that was a very new tech that only works in a couple of places in anything really. Um, roof tiles are entities and they aren't permanently loaded, which means that if you um, are in the right position, you can click into um, them. And so that allows you to get an ultra um, and conserve some speed. They're not loaded across. Yeah, this is this is another yeah. one of those levels that won't uh, scroll if you don't hit the battle line. Any battle, any battle in boss room. But, uh, and another thing to mention, since since we were mentioning, since we were talking about the electric, how electricity is unloaded, the the more common thing is 
um, spinners are also um, unloaded if you're off screen, which is how you have a lot of shenanigans. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna uh, see that okay. soon uh, in a later level. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so there's a couple of things. It's like if you are off screen, they don't kill you. And also if um, and uh, also second, if um, you yeah this map yeah I, I just. I despise the mapper who made this map because he named it the game. So I just made everybody lose the game. Yeah, we all lost. Oh fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, sir, um, that is not, that is not. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. You do better this. donate. Yeah, you better donate. Oh, God. Oh, God. You better donate at uh, link. Yeah. Speaking of donations, do we have any? Oh, actually, we have a couple. Um, maybe yep. I should let's... do it later since oh, I don't yes, want to please. turn into a robot. Donation time. By let's overloading go. my internet. We got one from uh, Casey Cake that's from the uh, four white mages. Here's a dollar for that last remaining white mage. <laughs> um, and we got one from che uh, Chef Olak, which is $25. And it's, thank you for showcasing so many interesting runs. Great commentary, great community, and great cause. Go. That's a good thing. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and no problem. Um, should I continue explaining the spinner deloading thing? Uh, I'll see it later. I feel like we covered it pretty. Um, I guess the, the, the only the only other thing is that it also works with binoculars. So if you move yeah. binoculars away, um, then it will also unload it. So we call, we just call that bino clip. Very well. Uh, if we... Madeline goes fast. She goes through spinners. That's just how yeah. it works. So yeah. on this map, I found a two frame time save right here. Um, so you used to turn, or there used to be an extra dash. Um, dashing basically resets your vertical speed, and this map is all downwards. Um, and holding down is faster down. than dashing down. And you have and you have um, infinite dashes. So basically, we're trying to minimize finish. the number of dashes that are possible. Right here, we collect the last berry. That's the last if berry you'll see. <laughs> if the dashes look weird, it's because they are um, 0.8 times dash length. Um, so they are much shorter than usual. Yeah. This next map doesn't have like too much in terms of like crazy strats. It's just a lot of like horizontal uh, movement optimization. That's how most dad bond maps are. Yeah. <laughs> Funny dad map, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dead Bot, you had like one map in every difficulty, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, During the development, there were so many people who were saying, Oh, I don't have enough time to finish my map. Can you give me more time? And then Dad Bod kept getting annoyed by them that he just made a map in every single difficulty. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, Bissy and uh, Gur also have a map in every single difficulty too, but yeah. Yeah, I don't want to hear that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's go. So yeah, you just cannot demo here because there's not enough dashes, so we have to go around to the left. I'm sorry. Unfortunately. I'm sorry, <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah, one of the, yeah, one of the things that annoyed me about this map is right here we go to a different world, but I was disappointed because the level's already over. Because so I was like, oh, I wonder how the level's actually going to change things up, but no ends. I do actually like those two end screens just because there's lots of corners that you can oh yes through. uh just just this keep map. this map so, um just watch it I it's um like skips. Uh, yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's the entire skip. and another one of those death warps yeah. yep and uh, um... this is the shortest map in the task um I, I well sorry no it's not the shortest map it's the shortest task and it's over yeah, a lot of yeah. people thought that the, a lot of people thought that the gold time on this was a mistake because it was like minutes away from it but yeah you have to pretty much abuse that one little thing to get it and and it threw a lot of people off this map was reworked actually fairly recently so yeah um Love that, that was <laughs> yeah fish saw it and he was like this is unoptimal let me spend my entire day redoing the whole thing yeah <laughs> shout out to fish for doing that Fish has done a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's going above and beyond. <laughs> What's the start? No, I'm thinking of it. No. I think of Ancient Engine. No. <laughs> yeah, that map has been changed quite a bit uh, since. Yeah, and recently yeah. as well. Yeah. And some some stuff isn't included because it was done too late. 
Uh, this map. So I was talking about binocular oh. clips earlier. We're about to see one uh, coming up in the next room, I believe. Yeah, the yes, next room. in the next room. Yeah. And originally, um, actually, you know what, Katiza, you can explain. Analog bino movement. Okay, so there's a spike clip here. Um, binoculars, you can move them um, yeah, right in analog there. directions. What? And originally, based on the movement that was done after the bino, um, it saved time to go, I think, something like nine degrees up from. Yeah. I, I forget the number, but um, I, uh, I did. It, that saved time. Yeah, and, then, and because of a strat change, it's now just holding right, which is sad. Oh, yeah, that, that was a diag demo through. Um... Two spinners, by the way, just in case you're wondering. And, um, but yeah, it, it, no, it no longer saves time to do analog bino movement. So how much uh, more painful are feathers to do when wind's involved? Honestly, um, not that much more painful. Because I've heard people complain about it a ton. I don't know why. It's feather, because it, it's basically just a constant amount of velocity. So all it really changes is just that, um, it doesn't really change anything. I guess it, 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 since it's always applied, the only thing it really changes is that you might um, is that sometimes you want to be moving against it a bit um, because you want to be going right as much as possible, say, and you and you can just let it carry you, for instance. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, this was actually uh, Marlin's first uh, like completed uh, like IL task, IL being individual level. Um, I mean, he's he's an incredible runner, <laughs> RTA. So it's not really surprising. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, he, he literally holds the world record, so I think by like a, a, a pretty solid amount. So those underwater oh, yeah, we demos can, yeah, only yeah, work because um, in water you can demo twice in a row for some reason. Oh, yeah, I don't know why. It's it, really, it, it's that really that would not be possible. Without yeah. That. Shout out to the bingo board just getting more and more filled as we say things. <laughs> All right, so this this level was changed pretty recently. We're not going to see the changes. Uh, that wall bounce saves one frame, and I did it specifically because Sasha was complaining about a second barrier not being broken. Did we ever explain wall bounces? Uh, no. It's an no. intended mechanic oh. where if you dash up and then jump against a wall, you get a little boost upwards and also You also uh, get a little forwards. boost, uh... <laughs> There was a wall bounce right there, yep. Yep. That's just weird. Uh -huh. I just wanted to hop in here with a quick update. This... We are just, yeah. like, a dollar over a thousand from that incentive being met. We can do it, guys. Let's go. Let's go! Put those donations in. Let's go, guys. But yeah, what's the... All right. Let's go. So but yeah, this, this map here. is actually yeah, it's it's a it's a bit out of date um, because some some improvements were released it's like I think yesterday. Yeah, like um, after but it's it's yeah, but that just means that it's even cooler for a second showcase. <laughs> that that and, binoculars, there's no point in doing that. It's just to waste it's time. Swag, yeah, we have to wait for because of the dash. Right. Uh, hold on. I mean, we have 13 pages of notes for this. Let's see. Uh, we'll find some. Uh, oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Kitizer just compiled so many notes. Uh, Way too much. Yeah. Um, I've been, oh, I've been talking a lot, so I've been trying to give them some yeah, time to... Oh yeah, landing, landing on that, um, the thing next to the door, um, oh. is, that was found pretty recently. Yeah, I, it saves uh, quite a that, bit of time. that new strat, you used to do a death there, um, it turns out you can touch that, uh, coin just barely, and then, uh, you're actually in the electricity there on those moving blocks for a frame, but because the moving block moves you into the electricity, the uh like hitbox check has already been done so uh it doesn't kill you uh there's some dashes here to activate the springs earlier 
Yeah, springs kill your horizontal speed. I mean, unless they're horizontal, but... Like, vertical springs, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, some maps you really can't do a lot to time save yeah. in, like this one. It really is just dash as soon as you can. And, and just try to activate the springs earlier. Yep. Uh, you do get some speed there uh, because of the way those blocks move. Well, speaking of moving stuff... Oh yeah. So, there's a jump off the wall, off the ceiling right there. Uh, lots of cycles in this map. If you save time, a lot of people didn't want to work on this map because it's because cycles, basically. But it's just, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff where um, if you, like, you can just see, oh, that's an optimal, but then because you, because there's some kind of cycle lock thing, there's just no point even improving it. Because it doesn't matter anyway. Alright. So. So, this cycle skip in this room is new as of a couple few days ago. Uh, Ooh, I haven't seen that. Ooh, that. that's nice. Yeah. Very pretty. I had nothing to do with it, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, another death warp out of the but after the but words uh, after the button. Um, so listen to the sounds here when we go into this room right now. Those were dream block jumping sounds. Um, if the last thing you jumped out of was a dream block and you jump off of water, the game still remembers the dream block and plays those sounds. Also, this so tests. before before our last showcase, literally days before, um, I found a skip that saves five seconds or like four <laughs> seconds, and then uh, Vamp found even more stuff that saves like another six seconds. That was yes, skip. that's the skip. That's amazing. <laughs> um, um, it's really precise. I, I just theorized it, and I was like, hey, this might work. And people were like, eh, yeah, maybe, because that's, uh, no. that's everything I say. Pause buffer that, there. Was an, that was oh, an yeah. instant delayed ultra. Do we yeah. want to explain this? We should. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And it's over. Sorry. And it's over. Yeah, they're yeah, a little instant complicated. Instant delayed ultra. So, I guess we should explain what delayed ultra is first. Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. Okay, oh, sorry okay. about that. For the past five minutes, my mic has been dead, and every single time I've been talking, I thought you've just all been talking over me. Bah. Oh, sorry. Dang. Uh, oh. That's <laughs> right. so sad. I was wondering. That is so Turns sad. Out my mic just died. Ah. Uh, okay, all right. that would explain it. Great yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this map anyway, is really okay. annoying to work on. I don't know. I just go through the, the puzzle there. Uh. This map in particular, the strat on the next screen that everybody thinks is a desync but is not. I mean, it yeah. was just implemented like two weeks so, ago. Yeah, so yeah. right there, you go above the screen. Um, grab the spawning crate. Yeah. Uh, so that right there, that was not a desync. If you die on the same frame, you touch a change respawn trigger, it'll change your respawn anyway. Um, that was the posted just made in... it escape into the lightning, yeah, and you can just respawn on the other side of the lightning. That was posted in like bug reports like a month before it was implemented, and I kind of expected it to be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> so, to quote Jax here, uh, we don't play this level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? There, oh, wait. This level. Sure. See that. Yeah. There are tons of. This level. This gaps level I've, I've, perfect. I am currently um, trying to optimize it, and. In, and there's actually even more weaving through spinners that, um, that's possible than you see here. Um, so it's it's actually... Oh, look forward to that. It, yeah, look forward to that. It's uh, mm -hmm. even more broken than you think. Um, yeah. Other hitboxes are ever so slightly smaller than normal hitboxes, which allow you just go through spinners that have wide gaps. We have assumptions that the mapper made it intended, but you can never know. Some of the some of the ones that are in here, and some of the ones that I found, uh, I don't think they're intended. They're just way too precise. Um, Ooh, this this is a an interesting map because there's map. a yeah. The everywhere. 
This map is really interesting because there are certain strats. Because dashes are considered, or because these bubbles are considered dashes, um, you can uh, cancel them and then enter these dream blocks from areas you're not intended to, which allows you to skip certain sections. There. <laughs> yeah, this is a more. Sorry? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, this time. Uh, we got Commander Nubfin with $5. It says Grandmaster Hype. Let's go. And then we got uh, Cheese Soda Punch with $31. It says Celeste Task Hype. Indeed. Let's go. Let's get Indeed, those. Let's go. You guys definitely want to see the Grandmaster. Oh, like, I you know. absolutely want to see it. There's there's some fan favorites. Yeah, in there. If you want to see if you want to see some speed, then wait around. Then then you want to hit Grandmaster. Yeah. Yeah. The, the incentive is an expert and Grandmaster difficulties, I believe. Yep. Okay. Yep. So we got to get there before we finish advanced. Oh yeah. The yeah. This task would likely be around 20 minutes slower if the demo dash wasn't a thing. Or oh, roughly wow. around that. This is the there, one <laughs> They're used everywhere. I mean, not just the, the demo hypers would not oh, yeah, be a thing. Yeah, we never explained those. If you so, if you demo dash uh, um, onto the ground, then when you jump, it's considered a hyper. Uh, yeah, that's used um, in almost every single map around at least every three seconds. And it's a yeah. very small optimization that you don't really notice when you're watching back, but when you're going frame by frame, it makes a big difference. And just ditch yeah, the jelly. Yeah. Don't need yeah. it. Uh, yeah, I routed with the jelly, but it's not. Yeah. It was like absolutely. Uh, je uh, jellies boost you, or all throwables boost you when you throw them in the opposite direction to the direction you throw them. So if you don't need some, need uh, a jelly anymore, it's optimal to just like throw it away from, like throw it behind you, so that you get more speed. Um. Also, we do need to explain. So, oh yeah, delayed ultras. If you cancel the down down diagonal dash um, then you can um, conserve the speed and and also when you it interrupts the dash hey, so when you we, land we have two dashes the, in this section and then we just skip the trigger oh, yeah. so we have two oh, yeah. dashes in the next room uh, there's a delay ultra coming up I'll point it out when it happens yeah and so when you then when you land you keep the speed and then you also get that 1.2 times boost from the um, from the ultra that you would normally get. But basically, uh, the, game, the, yeah. Yeah, the game has a check where it asks, did Madeline dash downwards? And if that's true, the next time you touch the ground, you'll just gain a speed boost. So that can be used like in almost every single map, and it's there's no limit on how long you can wait before you get that boost. But actually, right, it's, it's not... Right there. It's not quite touch the ground. Which is yeah, a very important some weird distinction. Stuff with that, but it's, it's collide. It's, it's, it's beyond. Um, goes it's into the ground, <laughs> which is why instant delayed ultras. I think I'm not going to fully explain them, but basically, um, you pause buffer so that you can land block. it um, oh, on moving blocks or mo or moon blocks. Yeah, um, and then that lets you hold jump for a frame, so you can be moving downwards and then you can yeah. land. That's what well, I meant earlier. Explaining how it works. That's that's what I meant earlier when I said uh, you want to hold jump, but you don't actually want to jump. Uh, when you're on, at certain speed values, holding jump or vertical speed values in specific, if you hold jump, um, you uh, get like half gravity for a couple of frames. And it's so just a, it's just a general <laughs> game feel thing that the devs implemented. Yeah. Oh, you hold jump, you jump for longer. Yeah. yeah, and that gets abused in the task for subpixel manipulation, which I don't yeah. think we've even said subpixels once. Yeah. Yeah, subpixels are like a thing. It's like a, it feels like a very tasking thing. Um, yeah. Say just the word oh, subpixels. Yeah. yeah. There's there's good there's good reason for subpixels to exist because it makes yeah, yeah, the yeah, movement absolutely. and feel of the game much more better, but it makes <laughs> tasking a nightmare. <laughs> Well, not really a nightmare because it actually makes it more. So many things. Yeah, it makes it significantly more interesting because if there weren't subpixels, a lot of this would be so much like worse. Easier to optimize. It would be easier to optimize, but it would also be significantly slower. And it would just be like less precise. Yeah. You can't do a lot of things. Uh, um. 
They're not gonna explain what some pixels are. Or what some pixel mani manipulation is. Because it's kind of self-explanatory. And honestly, if you want to learn more about it, just, just join the Discord and, and try tasking for yourself. Because... Just do it yeah. anyway. I'd, I'd say... Yeah. Do that anyway. Yeah. If you're looking for a game to like start tasking, you're like, wow, this looks really cool, but I, I don't know... This, there's a lot of software and everything. Celeste is really, really easy and intuitive to get into. So yeah, it's can, a really good game to start out with. Yeah, you can do it on Windows as opposed to, you know, needing... Uh, you don't need any emulators, you just need... The, re yeah. the replayability yeah. is insane. I think the last time I played Vanilla was in April, and I have clocked in over an extra 1,000 hours on this game just from the mods alone. And that doesn't even That's include fine. you, like, you can just speedrun the base game for over a thousand hours and then play mods for as long as you want. Forever. Uh, this, this game is really massive if you let it be. Sus is a little bit good sometimes. Yeah, my, my, I don't know that I put in over, like, a, my, my, my hours before tossing were like 200. And then after tossing is <laughs> like one and a half thousand. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I love the Celeste community because there's so much duality on what you can choose to do. You can be a playtester, you can be a modder, you can be a spider, you can, you can be, be an a tester. Yeah. Be an Just RTA like... speedrunner. Basically, if you if you can breathe, you're there's gonna be something that you're gonna fit in with our community, really. So <laughs> there's something for everybody. This time, yeah, by the way. Something, something to mention about this task, um, or just things in general. Um, so for falling blocks, um, it's optimal to, when you activate them, you want to immediately release them because they fall fast if you do that. Um, the original version of this task didn't do that, and so it had to be completely redone. Um, but yeah, that's why that's why you you see people, you, you see Madeline like jump off of things after activating them, um, is just because then they fall much faster. Yeah, the devs implemented that just so people can't recover as easily, because it's a falling block. <laughs> yeah. Alright, it's supposed to add some difficulty. Oh, this is the best national <laughs> map. I, I, I wish map. you could skip this this trigger, but it's really, really wide. Um, Do you want to explain the dashless movement in this map? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it oh. seems hard to explain. Like there's a lot going on oh, here. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's just uh, the the those just lag on mine. I'm not um, gonna be explaining ghost blocks because I don't. No. <sighs> we don't ghost blocks. To. Oh, it's, yeah, it's you kind of just most yeah, you should, means means um, weird, wait. <laughs> yeah. weird stuff. Just, you'll it's, see. Just wait. Yeah. So just keep a close eye out. Don't blink. Just the blink. And yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So, uh, yeah. It's most of the battlelands they move blocks weird, and the, if you can teleport, and yeah. that's as that's as much as I'm gonna explain because I don't yeah. fully understand it, and I don't want to fully understand it. To I be honest. barely understand um, them, and even then, I think they're annoying and are not really used anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I saw them spending hours trying to explain how it worked in the task channel in the Discord, and it just didn't make any sense. It's just really weird. Um, but yeah, the dashless movement, there's a lot of things yeah, to do really with, like, nice. activating falling blocks and stuff. It's quite difficult to route, and it's it's, it's pretty, it's very long. Yeah, what I was saying before, um, I guess about the double corner boost. So the ultimate, well, one of the ultimate ways to gain speed is, um to to jump um and then to double corner boost because then you essentially just triple corner boost but not really because when you jump you gain um yeah watch the speaker watch the speaker and then you can see die <laughs> and he died yeah and then they big rip how rude oh rip. wait hold on was the camera like messed up there yeah that's what happens when a bird is close to a screen transition yeah or if you just go really fast Oh, super dashing, yeah. So, 
um, I recently worked on this. Super dashing is very weird. It's very cool. Yeah. Basically, so thank after, you for creating yeah. this map. Please make after, another one. Yeah. After um, the game came out, so the devs implemented like variants, which are just extra things that you can do to spice up the game. So, one of them is super dashing, which extends the length of your dashes. And also, importantly, allows you to um, redirect your speed or to, to change the... Yeah, that, that feather huh. boost was very large. Um, but basically, um, Wait. if you... And the level's already over. You can redirect <laughs> your speed. Um, so if you diagonal dash, you can then redirect the speed away. Um, and also, we have a donation. Yes, yes. Am I right? Let's go. Yep. So uh, we got a... I'm just 250 for... And the comment reads, thanks for the showcase of the Celeste fan content, and thanks to the original team for making the, that community possible. Yo, thank Love you. to see that been so inspiring for so many folks. There's some rooms in this particular map that are the reason why the bingo square, your game is not lagging that, or your stream is not lagging, that's the game. Um, because basically when you dash, the game has three freeze frames, and all of those bubbles count as dashes. So I mean, I don't think we've explained why the game freezes. I think it's so it's meant to be a leniency thing to where right. the devs implemented it so you can actually dash accurately because people were complaining that they were dashing the wrong direction because they pressed the direction after their dash. So the devs made it so the game freezes so it becomes much easier to direct through your dashes. And it's it's a very nice feature. Oh, yeah, uh, we get a bit of speed <laughs> <laughs> Moving blocks are very broken. Yes. Uh, that's just the theme of most Celeste passes. Yes, absolutely. Um, should I explain more about the super dashing tech? I'll, I'll do that at the hot side because there's a super dash section there. Yeah, you have like five seconds there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Hold five seconds. Yeah, more. Uh, so yeah, more. we used to get that red bubble. Uh, now we uh, don't. Yeah. Uh, speaking of bubbles, um, at the yeah, end of the room, we used to get, um, we used to go all the way back to the bottom of this room after completing it. Uh, I mean, that's, that is the intended way, but Tass does not like the intended way. <laughs> <laughs> so we instead, and this was an, uh, an RTA strat that was just not known to us Tassers because we don't really play RTA that much. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's happened a couple of times. Yeah. That saves a lot, I think. A lot of time. What really sucks about this mod is that most of the maps are like 40 to a minute, like 40 seconds to a minute, and it makes it so difficult to commentate on what's happening because it's already right. over by the time you've done explaining it. I, that's that's why I've just been trying to rapid fire commentate, <laughs> and a lot of that has caused some some overlap. It's a two hour yeah. task, but it happens very quickly. Yes. It's also There's hard so many to mechanics vibe to all the tunes. Levels. Two hours roughly. We'll, we'll see the end time, but yeah. Of course, yeah. if we get the, the other two yeah, different so. copies. <laughs> yeah, we gotta exactly. get it, guys. Get oh, your yeah. donations in. Let's the go. Next, the next, the next room yeah. is very. The yeah, speed so... that you have to enter with a very specific speed so that you can turn around and lose a bit of speed before collecting the feather and it doesn't look that precise but it is um and you so, can't have any other speed yeah this right here this this jelly we're supposed to have it with us right now but you can just ditch it and finish the yeah. loop. um jellies are pretty slow skipping them is almost always worth yeah, it yeah and, and um especially the throwables so so you're um, supposed to have the jelly right and... here but you can just gain some speed and jump across this gap yeah, we're so picking was... up and oh, we also gained some speed here. Um, <laughs> a little bit more all over this. Yeah, just, uh, just some yeah, speed. Some speed. But yeah, um, throwables, when you pick them up and you throw them as well, um, there's essentially kind of freeze frames from picking them up and throwing them down, except that it isn't actually lagged, so the time it still counts, which is why throwables are so slow. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot of. There's some stuff in this map that is almost possible. Uh... <laughs> it sounds like a lot of the tasses. <laughs> that sounds like everything that I've, I've looked at pretty much, where it's just... Because <laughs> that was really my job, was just to make sure there weren't like any 
big things we were missing. So we skipped the whole left side of the bottom of that room, and also all of the coins with an upright demo and just being good. If you haven't played Glyph, go play it. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Yes, Glyph, Glyph is, is a nice. custom map, and it's very good. Oh, this map got completely destroyed by. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's do this, it. this poor map. By myself. Uh, Shoutouts to this strat where yes. you go through the wrong way uh, because you hit this coin and then you're right next to the door. It yeah, open. it's it. This this map is very um. That 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 took, that saves quite a lot of time and then it got improved several times after. So we saved like a second. What's it oh, yeah. in that room alone? Uh, Katizer, remember that XNA, FNA desync right here? Yes, oh. I did. Of course I did. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll really quickly explain FNA, FNA desync. There are two versions of this game. Um, they run with different backends, but they're the same game. Tasses sync on them 99.9% .9 of the time, but very occasionally. It's very precise and difficult to deal with. Right. Uh, desync will arise. I'm, I'm usually the one that deals with those. It's yeah. usually it's usually because of how numbers are rounded, where uh, F and A yeah. and X and A will round you, numbers differently. Yeah, if you if you want to scare a Tassa, just just say um, floating point <laughs> imprecision. imprecision. Yeah. yeah. So this map doesn't have any neutrals, but the just task just doesn't care. The neutrals um, are explicitly neutrals are, but neutrals, ne neutrals are slow anyway, so. Yeah. We try to avoid them as much as, much as possible, right, regardless. So let's talk about these skips. So that skip skips like um, a full room and a half or something like that. Um, just It's just a wall bounce. It's pretty easy. I've done an RTA. Um, apparently that's a skip too, but that's just what I did casually. <laughs> um, and there's also a skip um, there. Yep, that one's also possible. I think you're supposed to go around to the right. I think all these skips are RTA viable. Oh yeah, most of them are. Yeah, in RTA, neutrals are an easy way to say that you can infinitely climb a wall without stamina or having to grab it. So that's why it's disabled in this that map. That's why they get disabled. Oh, uh, yeah. there's going to be in this room a four frame B hop. Uh, basically, if you're underneath the platform and then uh, you use something called coyote time, where after walking off a ledge, you can jump. It actually doesn't uh, use coyote time. It's just you reach yeah. the peak of your hyper before you leave the yeah. block. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you can't skip this section because the mapper loves to make three pixel gaps with I, the spinners. I, I spent so long trying to find a, <laughs> some sort of skip and I got decently close, but or quite found it. So this map is called Noom. Um, we haven't gotten a lot of Noom up to this point. We've gotten a and decent now amount. we've got some. Now we've got some of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, there. As they're yeah, the reason why we didn't get killed by those spinners is because they just weren't on screen because the screen was not scrolling fast yeah. enough. Something yes, that the devs, yeah, something the devs implemented was if there's a ton of spinners on screen, usually they can cause a lot of lag. So if especially on console, yeah, yeah, if spinners are far enough away off screen, they just the collision just doesn't load, so it saves performance. I, yeah, it was it was initially added because of um, consoles apparently um, and yeah the devs never thought that it would be used in in this way um, but it is <laughs> that sums up a lot of a lot of yeah, things nice. that's nice. that's the devs cool. never thought that it would be used in this way um, but it is I think it's really cool that they've just been so supportive of tassing yeah like, yeah we Absolutely. have our we have our own section of the official Celeste discord um, if you if you guys are interested and want to join, yeah, that's the hub for everything. Uh, I'd also like to point out that we're I think a little over halfway into advanced difficulty. Uh, next up is expert, and that is incentive block, and we are about eight hundred dollars away from that. So go do that. Get those. Let's get those donuts. Do we I have know you guys can do it. Donations we want to talk about? Yeah, I got one more um, from Lat Mackey. That's uh, that's ten dollars. Thank you to the entire task community for putting on a great show and supporting a great cause. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, so right here, you can just carry the jelly through a dream block because leniency, and Tass loves to abuse that. Yep. It's possible, okay. 
<laughs> That's my contribution, apparently. Yeah, usually a couple of frames after your dash ends, you can still enter a dream block, so you can use that time to grab a jelly and just bring it with you. It uh, saves a decent bit of time. You can almost skip this jelly. <laughs> but not quite. Well, That's you nice. can skip it, but you can't continue the room. So, ending off that level. Up next to the death button map. Oh yeah, this map. Let's go. Everyone, oh, shout everyone's out, shout favorite. Out to the, there's, <laughs> there's a skip in this map that was found on day three, but it was found RTA, and uh, Tassers didn't know about it, so I ended up rediscovering it. Um, I'll, I'll mention when that happens. Oh yeah, so this map heavily relies on neutrals, like unlike the other map. Yeah, Dad, but I'd love to see you do this map without neutrals. Uh... <laughs> I think I have to, like, go to the bathroom really quick. I'll be back. <laughs> and more demo dash abuse. Uh... Oof. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the... These neutrals, it looks like there's not much ways you can improve them, but... Sometimes if you change the placement of neutrals, it can matter. Yeah, because then you can land much earlier. Yep. Mind if I hop into here real quick? Sure. Yeah. Got an update on that incentive. We are under a. We have about a hundred dollars left. Let's go, guys. A hundred so bucks. Let's get it in there. I see. It. I see it. Uh, over the screen. <laughs> Dang. Bad abuse. And skip the bubble because bubbles are slow. Yes, they kill all your speed. Oh yeah, this. This used to be the, the shortest task, but then flooded waterways got tasked. <laughs> but it's still pretty short, obviously. So we skip it back and forth there. And then there are a lot of times where we just go through spinners like that. Yeah, you can crouch jump out of a dream block and carry it through spinners. If you demo into the dream block. Well, that was just a jump, but you know. <laughs> and it's already over. And it's over. Yeah. Guys, yeah. 75 bucks to go. Who's got dad on a couple bucks? Let's go. Let's hit this mm -hmm. uh, hit this uh, goal here in the next like 10 minutes because oh, that's about all we have this left. Level. This level, we need infinite stamina because of a bug in the um, help mod. So it uses jumps every frame. Um, yes. when the, when As you can see, there's jump. yeah, there's two players on screen and the way they implemented that was hackily, quote unquote, Adding in an extra input system, which doesn't like to play well with tasses. Yeah, I'd like to point out that that just because it's done hackily doesn't mean it's um it's very very hard to add a second player to the game. The, the code just does not support it. Um, so it's not as easy as just hey modder fix the mod. Um, <laughs> yeah, fixing fixing the and, fixing yeah. the crime jump every frame thing is very difficult. Um, yeah. Due to the way that it checks stuff. So, yeah, no reason to disrespect the modder. They made a horn. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 very difficult to implement, and that bug is very difficult to fix. Oh, we've lost time. Hmm. Oh. We can cope. Oh, oh so this map. Your old sky's time. Very oh. route dependent. That would. This seems like a a nightmare to task. Like. It is made slightly easier by the fact that the coins take a little bit of, to activate, but it's still pain. <laughs> we like pain sometimes, right? That's why we're all playing Celeste. Yeah. <laughs> if we didn't like pain, I wouldn't have. We're all, all right. secretly all right. missing. Just... Turns his internet cut out, so hopefully we'll get him back soon. Yeah, so a lot of the, the routing for this is just going back and forth and trying to hit as many of these as possible. Yeah, you want like to activate them, you, you want to hit each coin as, as soon as possible, um, so because it's, it, it takes time for it to move around. Uh, the earlier you hit it, the earlier you can re-hit it. So you want to make sure that you hit, that there's as, as little delay between the activations as possible. And I think Easel is next. Rhythm Realm. Let's go. Yeah, so every single time you dash, we've talked about how 
the game freezes for three frames. Well, if you have something that's related to rhythm, having the game randomly pause can really mess up the beat, which is why the cycles actually still continue when you are in dash state. So the objective in passing cassette blocks is to dash as much as you possibly can. If yeah, you're waiting, of course. Are on, yeah. uh, global cycles, which means um, the cycles, unlike pretty much every other cycle in the game, is not reset when you load into the room. It continues from the previous room. Yeah, so make an improvement on one screen and you just have to spend a couple of hours syncing the next room. <laughs> yeah, every time I opened this test up, I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, that death warp gets you a better, uh, better cycle. Mm -hmm. And they're sitting in the waterfalls there. So the waterfalls, um, I think, are color coded and they speed up or slow down the cycles just for convenience RTA, I believe. Mm -hmm. And... But we can abuse that to um, get things to move faster or slower, to, to skip further into a cycle. No, it's less abusing it and more using it like you're supposed to. <laughs> well, but I mean, as in, like, I don't think you're supposed to wait for ages to... So, here we get a bunch of boosts off button. this moon block so we can jump inside of the electricity over here. And then <laughs> boost back onto the block. <laughs> Yeah, so um, moon blocks are moving blocks as well, so you can chain, and since they move, that means that you can chain multiple um, corner corner boosts, um, and they will also give you boosts from, from the block. This is, this is the, yeah, alright, yeah, this is the last level in advanced. Well, other than the hot side. Oh well, yeah, the so last So get, get those donos in, guys. They're already in. Got some good news on that. Yep, alright, let's yeah. hear it. The incentive has been met. Let's Dang. go! Way, let's go! Yo, thanks oh, guys. Got we did 25 it. from Emmy Pop says let's get more Celeste. 25 yes. from Ellen. This is congrats to everyone on the task. And an anonymous $75 donation that pushed us over the edge. Yo, thank you, anonymous. So this map used to be desynced for a very long time because of the jump through patch. And one thing that tasters hate to sync is seekers. Seekers are the worst. <laughs> That's really all you need to know about them. Their Those pathfinding is really weird. Their, the, 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 their pathfinding is really weird. Um, the movement is really weird. Everything about them is really weird and slow. Um, yeah. More so than pretty much anything else in the game in so, terms of routing. At this point in the lobby, we restart chapter. That's a done like twice, I think. Yeah, that's um, the beginner. It's not always faster, but in this case, it puts you closer to the hard side, and that's worth yeah. that's worth the time save. So, uh, since since we're going into the hard side, I'd like to take a moment to explain a little bit about the how the super dashing works. So, with super dashing, it's um you can redirect um the the angle of the super dash um in in, in the middle of the dash. What this means is that um when do you since you can serve speed when you do a diagonal dash, um, you can serve your horizontal speed. So you can, if you do a dash and then you diagonal dash out of that, um, then you can conserve all of that speed. But then you also have 169 extra speed um, that you can um, redirect it into more horizontal speed, which you can then dash out of again and then redirect again and then you can just stack that and then just gain 160 like 170 speed every single time you dash pretty much for context 90 is walking speed and 240 is dashing speed oh yeah i forgot we did so you have a ballpark understanding of yeah mm -hmm. speeds are um does the redirect speed become faster oh, if you if you're moving at a faster horizontal speed yes because that because um the angle change the, the angle change is a change in the angle, not a change in the speed, so it changes up by four degrees every frame. So if you're moving at higher speeds, your speed will change faster because it needs to move um, faster so that you still move four degrees. So there used to be a random death warp here and it always scared me into desyncing, but thankfully they removed it. <laughs> yeah, so and it I, saves, and it saves like half. So this, spa yeah, this space up here, um, you can get up there with unloaded spinner, and when somebody di discovered that during development, the mapper saw it, and instead of patching it out, they decorated the out-of-bounds section. <laughs> That's great. 
Yeah, I think that was Holly. Love Holly. Hi guys. Yo, welcome I, uh, back. Yeah, Tyron's back by yeah, the way. My my internet just decided, hey, what if I just shut off during your showcase? That's beautiful. <laughs> Well, yeah, imagine, imagine, imagine internet problems in a Tash showcase. That would never happen to okay, me. So that nah. was advanced heart. That was advanced difficulty, which means we're now onto expert. This is now incentive stuff. Yeah, thank you guys again for all your donations. Going to a really awesome yeah. cause. So we met it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Nice. This is so where things start enjoy. to get uh, <laughs> yeah. fast. Yeah, and difficult. Even more wild. Oh, this, this level. There's a particular skip in here that I had theorized for months before it was found. Um, particularly in this room. Uh, it's called loop-de-loop -loop scoop, or, or not scoop, uh, skip. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're calling that scoop from now on. All right. Yep. Um, it's... <laughs> oh. That skips happen to do like a whole thing where you go around in a circle. Because mm -hmm. essentially these, uh, these gates that are dark, um, yeah. they toggle you between one and two dashes. That's basically the main mechanic of this map, and it creates puzzles based around it, but Tess doesn't like to complete puzzles the intended way. <laughs> Tess does not respect puzzles. <laughs> Tess doesn't respect anybody. <laughs> she doesn't respect anyone. <laughs> a lot of to this jelly, and then delayed ultra to keep it. We That's almost nice died. <laughs> okay, so this is a lot of movement after... Oh yeah, so... We do some instant delayed ultras, and a translation to that is go very fast on moon blocks. Yeah, it's a combination of the th three fastest pieces of tech in the game. Well, and cycle we madness time. Alright, watch uh, this closely. <laughs> very closely. Shout out to DK putting this yeah. one together. This was crazy. Oh. Oh. And, um, and the <laughs> Roboman for improving it. Yeah, Rogue oh, and, uh, and Jax as well. So those were all crouch jumps through spinners, just done in a row. And crouch jumps are significantly harder to to get to work than um than regular demo dashes. So They're significantly the more changes. useful because you keep your speed and your dash. Uh yeah. The, the reason why they're harder than just regular demo dashes is because uh, if you're moving downwards, you'll automatically uncrouch. So you have to be moving upwards, but moving upwards slow enough that you don't move into the spinners. Yeah, so it's a combination of vertical and horizontal subpixel in it, it's, yeah. uh, which, is hard, which is always difficult. Yeah, these are dust bunnies, they're just reskin spinners. Also, mm -hmm. they move. Oh, and the ones that move around have different hitboxes, but, um... I don't that's know, all you need to know. One <laughs> yeah. Slightly broken hitboxes. Ooh. Just a little bit. So here's a, here's a pocket book example, like a textbook example of how building up ultras can give a ton of speed with a bunch of downright dashes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, was that a grounded ultra? <laughs> yep, it was a grounded ultra into a cutscene. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah, cutscenes interrupt, um... Yeah. Interrupt dashes. Cancel dashes. Oh yeah, this um we gain um but when we return to that first screen, you, you gain a lot of speed in the water and then it only saves a frame because you instantly go into a bubble into the in the next screen and you lose all of your speed. Yeah. So we carried a uh, in the previous room we carried a jelly through bubble a bubble. Um you can do that, but you can't pass bubble immediately. You have to wait a few frames. In Deathwarp just to get back because the mapper didn't put a respawn point at the end. Oh really? So right here you get a ton of speed and it only saves like two frames because you immediately kill the speed. <laughs> yeah, it's fast strat. So the main thing about optimizing this is just figuring out the bottlenecks with jelly movement because trying to optimize throwing movement is quite difficult and people don't like looking at it. That's that's a lot of like passing in general. Like if I had one advice, one piece of advice, I, I'm the last person who should be giving advice on like good passing. Micro optimization. Yeah, you're not really the person. To... Yeah. Uh, so that's a, that's not even like an insult. That's just true. Um, yeah, you don't like it, which is. Uh, I mean, I've always been macro optimizing, which means that I just look at something and try to route it differently. Um, 
Yeah, I'd say I'm definitely someone who likes to micro-optimize a lot. It, it's, I think, as advice, I think um, figuring out what the bottlenecks are is definitely yeah. very, it's probably one of the most important things to and do. Um, it applies regardless of whether you're doing micro or macro optimization. Yeah, definitely. Uh, figuring out, oh, I don't really, it doesn't matter if I, uh, my height doesn't matter here, so I should just jump as early as possible or something like that. Uh, so just, this test, um, by the way, does the test happen for you all? Um, yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this one got redone. Um, you have to wait for zippers a lot here, but um, sometimes we don't. Yeah, this is my one of my favorite movement where we can keep a dash here and then go under the block to skip that Ooh, section yeah. and then climb jump on the underside of a block known as a ceiling pop. <laughs> ceiling pops are a little weird where if you grab a block and then fall off of it, you can jump underneath the block essentially. We just get a little bit of speed. Here we go, trenches. All right, so this is one of the first maps actually made for the collab, but it was one of the last maps to get tasked because everybody refused to task it. I wonder why. It reminds me of another map. This is a really cool test, though. It, like, it's yeah. hard to work, but it's, it ended up really cool because the the way these electricity barriers or the the combination of barriers and stuff in this map is just a little bit broken. Not for RT really, but TAS has a lot of places where we can look at out of the bound stuff or one pixel caps for things and just drop jellies there or go over the top of things. Don't know why the devs made electricity one pixel smaller than the hitbox is, but yeah. I think it was for leniency. It's really nice because it basically gives you tons of different skip opportunities and you can oh, yeah, get we didn't explain, back we didn't explain um the lava uh i guess we should wait until a map that actually happens in next <laughs> but you might have seen us war bounce on um on lava or jump off lava um the reason for that is because the the wall is um strat coming up lavas are actually lava is actually basically just a wall and then, um, and then it's something that kills you. So if you're far enough away from it, it just treats it as a wall, and you can climb, you can wall bounce, you can jump. It's, but yeah, that's, just... that's why that's a thing. <laughs> so right here, we just go over the level, and the mapper didn't care to yeah, patch it up. The late ultra that you didn't even get to see. That was sick. Yeah, fortunately, the the task mod has support for. Uh, a number of things, including centering the camera on Madeline. Oh yeah, that's that's key. Be because if you couldn't do that, you'd just be going in blind. Ultra sandwich time. Yeah. All or right. On the map. So this map was yeah, this map was actually made by Deluke H, which was the main tasking captain, which kept track of the progress yeah. on the tasks and assigned different tasks this, to everybody. Yeah, Mad this is lab. what. If, you, if you're wondering what happens when um, Atasa makes a map, this is what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You'll. See. Yeah, yeah. I want to hype this up, but it's gonna happen. Yeah. All, All right, right, don't blink. Don't blink. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. God, I love <laughs> oh, and uh, keep bear in mind that is not the fastest speed we get. Not close. Not, yeah, it's... This particular map is uh, leveraging a lot of uh, lightning abuse right there uh, was one example where we get our dash back by landing on the outermost pixel of that ledge. Uh, yeah. We do a super off that gap. We, ha have we, we haven't explained supers. We're supers are hypers, but they go higher. <laughs> yeah, we're not left. even to. But we, have, we have yet to explain supers. So they're, they're like a hyper. super is like a hyper. A super is like a hyper, except it's you move slower, but you jump a normal height. It's, it's, it's dashing, pretty much it. Usually dashing they're jumping. yeah. Usually they're completely outclassed by hyper b hops. Yeah, I like how we're we're struggling the most to explain like the most basic of tech. It's a little bit of a frazzled commentary, but that's okay. 
Yeah, it, it makes it better. All right. I could do uh, a much better job. <laughs> yeah, this map used to be. I wish was oh, yeah. here so he could have you know lose the sanity over it. But this map was really laggy um, at some point in development. I never saw it, but um, the, so the just bumper take decided to bring oh, This map. We actually say. we actually wrote a brute forcing yeah. program to oh. find a specific X okay. value, which allowed uh, you to. Yeah. I was like, hey, is this is this possible? And then, it. it... <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but um, there was a jump. There was a spike jump. So, uh, well, a spike climb rather. So, a spike climb is the the concept of being inside of spikes while moving away from them and also going upwards. Um, spikes don't kill you in this game if you're not moving towards them. If you get a very very low speed value and precise positioning as well, you can go pretty high before you are forced to leave the spikes. Um, That's a 12 frame spike climb, was, which is absurd. It was not possible originally. So, well, Tyron tried it and got very very close. Um, so. I wrote a uh, piece of software that um, is translated movement code from Celeste, looking at uh, a combination of decompiled stuff and what's publicly available on GitHub, and translated it to Python, and then wrote a brute force program that um, simulates random inputs and sorts them by however you want to sort them. And that's how I managed to make that spike line possible. It saves a grand total of 11 frames. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just the most proud. The thing I'm most proud of in this entire test. <laughs> also, photosensitive warning. There's... Oh yeah, like seriously. Uh, there's some visual filters that um, can be uh, visually jarring. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> to say that, so I know that's an understatement. If you're but... prone to like epilepsy or <laughs> something similar, close your eyes just... for like 15 yeah, we... seconds. Yeah. Yeah, we have both, we have both sensed to made on, but it's not enough, so just don't watch. Well, we'll tell you when on. it's over. Yep. Yeah. Shout out to 7D Flag 2. Because <laughs> my man loves it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this... Oh yeah, there's yeah, the... This movement the... right here looks very slow, but we haven't figured out how to improve yeah. it. That is one of the parts of the task that has always bothered me. So, that's a, we that's tried a cool to... demo right there. So coming up here, there's more vertical screen transition abuse because it reaches ever so slightly out of that ledge. Yeah, so that looks like a vertical screen transition. It's actually not. You're actually entering from the right or from the left side of that screen. And so we do corner boost to enter faster. And coming up here, the mapper left some tiles floating out of ground for some reason, which allow us to skip the whole screen. <laughs> Alright, if you didn't... I think the photosensitive um, part is over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you can, can open see. your eyes now. It's, a, it's, yeah. it's good. Let's see, we have some donors. Yeah. Oh, yes, this we is... do. Let's hear them. <laughs> Alright. Alright. We've got $20 from an anonymous person that says, one of the fundamental, fundamental elements of tasks is how much does not adhere to any specific style of gameplay for any reasonable period of time. <laughs> um, we've got a $9 donation from Test that says, I have pizza, I have pineapple. Pin pineapple pizza pin. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, got a couple um, more also. We should, explain, we should explain these. Um, oh, yeah. Jank blocks. Really fast moon about blocks. The, moon, oh. the fast moon blocks, yeah. They, they, so moon blocks move when you dash into them. Yeah, basically um, they edited these blocks to move really fast. Yeah, That's all you need to Now I want pizza. Busy map, let's go. <laughs> I want pizza as well. This is such a good looking map. Oh yeah, this is really interesting looking map. Oh. Isn't there like a frame there where you're like almost completely in the electricity? That's coming uh, up. Yeah, I'll, oh. I'll talk. Well, it, it got redded out because of a better, better piece of text, but um... Yeah, I had my notes for this is uh, fish and skip because we didn't skip a lot of fish. I don't know. I was like, <laughs> that's actually pretty funny because like fish and chips, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the main mechanic of this map is no, using these zippers to move okay. around these fish to set up puzzles, but we hate puzzles because we're tasking. Yeah. 
So that right there is, I uh, have, have it listed. So it's a um, dim a hyper and then a grab jump off the side with the spikes and that allows you to keep the horizontal speed of that block and also get, um, I believe, jump vertical speed. Did I say that correctly? It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that allows you to skip a fish and um, because that fish is enabled, you can, you know, use it. For this map right here, for the most part, is done. Intended. As far as I remember. Uh, no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah, All right. Where it is, but coming up, um, there's a skip right there. That's very easy. <laughs> Yeah, this is what happens when your task is two hours long. Not everybody gets to see every single frame. Yeah, I've looked at this task and I, I, I didn't. Big every smart. task is the same small section of that thing over and over. Never save any time. Skip that entire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Made quick work of Dad Bod. I hope you like us breaking your maps. No, <laughs> actually. Is this the first time you've seen the tests of your maps, Dad Bud? Uh, oh. I haven't seen that one. So, shout out to this map, uh, which was the last to be drafted because uh, we forgot it existed. Actually, uh, no. Um, the So, about three months after the deadline closed for maps to be submitted, uh, we had a mapper come in like asking if they could include their map. And we reluctantly said yes because the mapper had helped out with lobby and heart side a development. Ton, a ton. Yeah. Shout out to Index for all the help. Mm -hmm. Came in super late game. Yeah, and nobody has touched it basically after the first draft because horribles. <laughs> <laughs> Just not fun sometimes. Yeah. yeah, I saved like 18 frames like a week ago and I hated sinking every second of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yesterday. Beautiful. Uh, anyway, so uh, up next is, uh, first of all, this an is a good one in the lobby right there. Second oh, yeah. of all, best map in the collab. Yeah, we've saved. Yeah, we saved about a minute off of the first draft because of crazy skips. Yeah. Um, so this map is really open, which means that there's a lot of edges that just don't have walls on them, which means that there are tons of unintended screen transitions that you can enter. Uh, so we're going to see the first of those uh, uh, coming up pretty soon uh, in the next room, I believe. Another textbook example of trying to dash as much as possible to ex yeah. like make the cycle expand. Yeah, so what's, what's going on there is basically uh, these blocks are hard-coded to always uh, sync up with the music. Um, so if you dash, you cause the the game to freeze and the timer to freeze, but you don't cause the music to freeze. And so um, the music keeps progressing and you save time. But yeah, the, the, this also uses the, oh yeah, you can skip the entire room here. <laughs> yeah, with the cassette um, boost. But this, this, also, this also uses the, um, the, the stop and... My brain is not working, it is too late. <laughs> this also uses like the slow down, speed up stuff. And so oh, yeah. sometimes we, we wait a bit in certain places to to yeah. get wait so we're further in a cycle um, until we slow down the cycle. Oh yeah, we actually go through spin we actually go through spikes the wrong Yeah, right here. Way round, <laughs> right there. Um, and if that you, if you yeah, if you have enough speed to cross a hazard in a single frame, the game just lets you go past the hazard. Right, because you're basically on one side on one frame, and then on the on the other on the next. All right, so we have some donations apparently. Yes, indeed we do. Make sure we got any more. Yeah, so we got one dollar hype. Ray Sama was uh, allowed to take over this comment. Help! I'm trapped behind a computer screen without pizza. Sure, wish I had some donations to moderate. Also, amazing job on this run and commentary, guys. And that was from chat. And then I also got 25 from Coburn. You can always rally on Team Taskbot to bring quality task runs. Stay a while and watch him smash through all these button presses. Maybe show off a little too. Everyone is awesome here. Thank you. So, in this map, remember the old core map that had dust bunnies in it with the double dash mechanic? 
Well, you can do a quote-unquote sequence break by leaving the section without returning through another one of those double dash triggers. So now we can just do the whole level with two dashes. Yeah, which I'll saves take a oh. lot of time. Yeah, not even the most overpowered uh, trigger skip in the past. <laughs> well, there's another. <laughs> yeah. That's the one I'm referring to. This level, in particular, has some interesting routing later on. I believe, yeah, this was the last map to get test. Yeah. We were just waiting on this to get done before we had our first final draft. Took a long time, yeah. but it we, turned out really well. We finished our first draft around mid-October and have saved at least three and a half minutes since that first draft. And that's that's that, crazy. And that's not even including the fact that um, we saved time on maps before the first draft was even complete. <laughs> oh yeah. So if we were talking about like, um, I don't even know how much time we saved in terms of oh, the what? first draft. Yeah, so oh, was, this yeah, using a demo here, we can go out of bounds and um, basically. I... Yeah. <laughs> so I uh, I discovered that and then reported it and I I regretted it because some of the mappers didn't particularly take kindly obviously. <laughs> um, well, actually, and... no. I think the mappers were fine with it not getting patched, but Bissy wanted it. To yeah, Bissy was really upset. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, to be fair, it is ridiculous. Uh, the speed there. <laughs> yeah, big speed. Oh yeah, I don't think we've mentioned yet those. Blue and brown blocks are called Kevin's because the oh, yeah. sound developer is named Kevin and yep. he's voicing his blocks. Yeah. I think he was just like garbling water or something. Oh, oh yeah, so that lightning there would have been incredibly loud, but we have a mod that lowers the yep. sound effects for lightning. Shout outs to uh, you. Yeah, for, so, uh, no, those. Yeah, so, um, lightning is a very, very loud sound effect in the base game for a good reason. It's, it only happens once. Uh, but modders um, kind of abuse that. Mappers, really. Um, so I wrote, well, I, I didn't write, I made a mod that um, turns the volume of the lightning sound down by 9 decibels. Nice. Alright, so Master. Grandmaster. Grandmaster time! Grandmaster! So, yeah. one small thing to mention was there was a bug found where if you enter a map but die on, like, the same frame you enter the map, you can actually press the return to lobby button well inside the lobby, which kind of messes things up. If you try to return to lobby well in the lobby, it spawns you at coordinates 0, zero which in this map is right over the heart side. Yeah, the only it's... problem is, is that 0, 0, is one tile inside of the wall, so Madeline gets stuck. So if the yeah. map was just one tile to the right, we could skip every single level in Grandmaster and head straight to the heart side. That was fun for the day before <laughs> it was fixed. Because it was going to cause problems yeah. in other maps. So this map has battle and chasers, but you hardly ever get to see them on screen. Yeah. Shout out your... to Land Villa for making such a good first draft. It's really yeah. not been touched that much just because it's really, really quality. Yeah, people like have struggled to see <laughs> I'd like to point out something here. The hearts are purple in this um, in the GM uh, maps because it's a reference to the D sides by Monica. Shout out to those in her. Yo. Oh, the heck, ninety. Yeah, this is a core star map with only two dashes. Uh, Terran, you found some stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's a there's a funny story here. Uh, yeah, so Tassers don't like to play the Grandmaster maps because of. The it takes a lot of time. <laughs> and I'm bad at video games. Yeah. So yeah, that same. can cause a couple of problems when it comes to routing. Uh, so I saved three seconds here by realizing that this. Oh, that's was a jump pretty through much that. The, uh, multiple people had looked at that level and missed that. And so there was this really slow, awful strat that we used to do. Um, and that's yeah. just like infinitely better. It, th I just didn't see- I routed this initially and, uh, and with some help from Vamp and neither of us saw the existence of that jump through. Well, I, I had lightning. looked at that map previous times and I had not seen that jump through either. So yeah. like... <laughs> also, yeah, so we, it's actually yeah. 
through some lightning in the previous room, but it ends up being slower because you have to go around into the, the strawberry right. room. So this map, so we had at least four people work on it. And just five. yeah, four people worked on it, and they just completely gave up because they just couldn't find a good way to optimize the routes that they wanted to take. So we actually had Marlin come in later, and he tasked the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Shout this out map, to Marlin. Yeah. This well, so map. Hope you like the music for this. Oh yeah. <laughs> if we could turn up the game volume just for this one map. That would be yeah. Like, that's the thing that can be done. I just had the biggest grin when I first opened up this map. Yeah, well, the beginner map for me, because it's I actually oh, yeah. played beginner and definitely not GM. I am not good enough. No one here is good enough for GM except you bad man. I mean, I played all of GM. Never mind. I am. <laughs> <laughs> you just insulted Vamp. I did. I'm sorry. Vamp. I thought I was correct. <laughs> Vamp's, yeah. Vamp's thinking like I'm way the hell better than Dad Bod, which is true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I actually made the the Grandmaster Gym. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, um, you did. I saw. Yeah, but it, it, it's easy to make a gym about tech when you're a caster. I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so here's quite possibly one of the most beautifully decorated maps. Oh yeah, this map looks gorgeous. Shout out to Moon. Yeah, there's also one of the longer collab tasses. Not the longest. That was claustrophobic. So yeah, yeah, these, these yeah, these crystals things. are on a set timer, so when you grab them, I think they blow up six seconds later. And they're used to break these red barriers. But the crystals instantly blow up if they touch um, a jelly barrier. Yeah, we actually had a, a custom barrier made specifically for that, so it wasn't actually a jelly barrier. We had to oh, have it? something custom made for it, which... Uh, it was really awesome. The coding team did a fantastic job putting that together, like, ASAP. <laughs> well, yeah, Marlon was so confident in this task that he had actually challenged Fish to save one frame. And then he saved, like, five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, another example of us getting a crap ton of speed, but then immediately losing it. <laughs> oh, sorry, really. Big stocks. Uh, Someone, oh, okay. Someone's mic is having a meltdown. That's a vamp. Yeah, it is vamp. Vamp, you good? Turned into a static TV. I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a no. Okay, you mean. Okay. Uh, well, vamp figures that out. I guess we'll take over. <laughs> uh, shout outs to. Coming up here is oh. the best tech in the game, which is um, that grab pattern right there. So that was Megalovania. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk over it in case you could hear it. But, um, yeah. Who added, who added that? I forgot. Ah, uh, I forget who. I think is it Viteri? <laughs> I think it was Viteri. Oh, uh, you gotta love it. Not the first time Megalovania has been inserted into a Celeste test. There we go, here, 418. That should be better. Yep. Ah, um, yes, it is. Yeah, map, Megalovania? Very good. Uh, me. Alex. So, yeah, this map has two dashes, two jumps, half jump height, and 0.7 dash length. So, keep in mind that for later. Also, That's if we it. just go out of bounds there, the spinners are not loaded, and we can just leave. Wait, hold on. Isn't it yeah, just we don't like, like to holding this, down makes the screen, or makes you move faster than the screen can scroll down there? <laughs> it might have something to do with like a, a camera trigger or something, but it's really weird. Awesome, the camera yeah. doesn't scroll as fast as it usually does for some reason. Yeah. Also, yeah, that and we restart chapter just to make it back to the start because the Grandmaster lobby is actually quite big. There's a lot of gameplay between each yeah. of the maps. Yeah, I think there's like there's like a kind of upper and lower section, and so that's why why we restart chapters because you go to like the extreme of one, you go to the extreme of the other, and then we restart again to get back to the to the hot gate. I think. 
2 a.m. and might be 6 a.m. even. I might be wrong about that. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> you're seriously, mostly major props to Sasha for staying up. Yeah. And just yeah. Being I hope you got a lot of coffee. Trooper. I do drink coffee. That, that feels <laughs> bad. <laughs> so, isn't there a funny little skip right here? Yeah, uh, spinner that's dash pretty much to skip some amount of time. Sky, yeah, it's the same thing as one of the earlier maps. You get your dash back off a um, off a moving block with spinners on it. Yeah, we never we explained feather boots. Is that a thing? Once we explain, um, just if you dash diagonally into a feather, it just gives an extra speed boost. Not not no, dash diagonally. No, it's if you, if you hold. If you hold up, or if you hold um, a horizontal and a vertical input um, when you go into a feather, then you move diagonally out of it, and then that gives you like 250 speed in both directions, right. and then you can redirect that speed. Here's Tri Peak Trail. Oh, oh. alright, uh, don't blink. Do not this blink. Do not blink. Do not blink. Well, no, this map is actually made up of three different sections. A uh, tight dream block don't, section, don't, a moon reflection section, and a farewell jelly section. So there's yeah. the first section, and now we go into this section. Uh, and now we go into this section? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, we did it. Right? <laughs> That's the maximum speed we hit. That is... Uh, 3720 max speed. That's two and a half times the speed of the 8C TAS. That's 62 pixels per frame. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it actually used to go faster, but it's faster just to cut an ultra. Yeah. It, the, you have, there was an ultra that was that I cut because it. You had to lose a lot of speed to line it up, and it was not worth it. it I mean, you almost it. reached 4,000 speed, but it's kind of slow. Yeah, the setup is too slow. It's Chat. about a uh, tenth of a second faster to not do that, I think. I don't remember exactly. This is another task with fairly basic movement throughout it. There are some interesting moments like that. Where we... I think that looks... I'm pretty sure that's intended, right? I, yeah, I, I, I tried that and it didn't work. Uh, well, when they talked to the mapper about it, like, the mapper gave them a wink. <laughs> <laughs> GG, doggo. Yep. So yeah, more jet boosters that act like wind. So we don't want to dash when we're in those, uh, except when it's against our direction. Go on. Oh, we never... Explain how wall bounces from spikes work. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, all, no. that, yeah, all that it matters is that you're moving away from the spikes, which means it can still yeah. act. It's it's so, more leniency shenanigans. Yeah, uh, basically, there's a few frames after the dash ends where you can still wall bounce, and if you move away, then um, then you can wall bounce. <laughs> That's pretty much it. We had a legendary improvement to this level. It was, I think it was like minus 513 frames and removed the auto scroll. Oh yeah. So usually most of these ground tiles you cannot stand on because the mapper put kill boxes where they are. But in the second room, the mapper had actually purposely removed them so that this auto script scroll is actually possible. Do you mean auto script? And... Skip? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Works. One of the two. But yeah, the auto scroll skip was pretty great. It saved uh, 553 frames at 60 FPS. Oh, okay. gameplay in this heart room. Here. Part of the storm. Shout out. All right. Shout out to me yeah. finding a, a strat and then realizing that the task already used that strat. <laughs> I wish I wish I could say that it was the only time this has happened, but that happened a lot of times. Uh, looks like Vamp is having some issues, unfortunately. 
Um, yeah. Ah, there you go. Back. But muted. <laughs> this is yeah. really can't get rid of vamp that easily. That's okay. This is one of those maps My that you just like watch out. and appreciate. Oh yeah. Like the amount of playtesting the Canadian had to probably do to make this work is just. I don't think anyone really appreciates that because they're too busy being like mad because it's really difficult. But oh, it's yeah. insane. <laughs> oh, yeah, this um, this level uses a mechanic that redirects your horizontal speed into vertical speed. Um, did Canadian do most of the playtesting himself, or didn't get some people to help? Uh, you know, I don't know, like, the, the actual ratio. All I know is that, uh, <laughs> it had to be just an absurd amount of time. So this everything right here has... So precise, oh, go yeah. ahead, sorry. This go movement ahead. here hasn't been touched in about, like, seven months, because it's basically one giant auto-score, so any improvement actually made is all lost because you have to wait for these jellies to float down on this giant screen. Right here. I hope you like lightning sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> this room in particular is actually the main culprit as to why that oh, yeah, lightning actually... mod was made. Because we also the... lose about a second of RTA here because we do like 50 dashes. Uh, if anyone from test videos is watching, which you are, uh... We care about RTA, except we don't. Sorry. <laughs> we care about we have done some things to optimize RTA, like we fixed some level loads that were being weird. Yeah, we lost... how, how much time was that? Until? Like a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was all RTA, so nobody bothered. Yeah, the main thing that in the Celeste community is that we care about what the in-game timer says. Which is actually why we do some things that are actually slower RTA, but faster for in-game time. Like pause buffering. Sometimes. Yeah, so we don't oh. need Theo here. Sometimes. Um, <laughs> yeah. We can just leave him all the way back there and then do stuff like that. And there he is. Yeah, so normally you have to take him with you pretty much the entire way and it's not easy at all. But obviously with uh, the test, mm -hmm. just disregard Theo. He's not really contributing much. I like Theo. Yeah, Theo. He's, he's, he's more, more support. He good he's people. A, you know. <laughs> oh, uh, speaking of good people. All right, so yeah, yeah. yeah so right here, Ben. Got the So she just wants to take all the attention. Yeah. I, so I, when whenever Badlin is inside a room, the camera does not like to leave her off screen. <laughs> So basically, we, we skip her and then do the entire screen without battling. I wish that worked in other battle line maps, but it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, so... It was not. Yeah. It was a puzzle map. So, <laughs> achievement unlocked. Do the puzzle map with none of the puzzles. See, I mean, there's gotta be one puzzle. They're optional. Somewhere? No. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, some interesting lobby routing. Some interesting, some interesting lobby routing coming up. Oh, oh, um, yeah. oh, the bubble bounce. These are, yeah, these are um, feather bubbles without the feather, and they are quite jank. And um, Jack spent yeah. a while getting a demo to work there, and it saved so around like a second. Yeah, ultra difficult time. Oh. Oh, yeah. So you can actually go quite fast in this map RTA, but Tass uses that to hell and back. Is this the, um, the hardest Grandmaster map RTA? Um, some people say Harder the Storm is harder, but a lot of people agree this is the hardest. Yeah. Um, Hence, it's doesn't called doesn't ultra difficult. Oh, yeah. Uh, shoutouts to just ignoring spinners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some of those spinners were unloaded, some of them were. Um, the the, the yeah. ones that were loaded, you just go from one side to the other in a frame. <laughs> so that was actually the last regular map. Yeah. And now we're heading on to the heart side. Grand finale, let's go! Yep. And this, this is, is all getting remade. Map. 
Yeah, all of this is gonna get so, remade, which is so even what? more of a reason as to why we should have a second showcase. All right, so uh, trigger <laughs> yeah. skips. Yeah, so watch closely here. Here you get two jumps and two dashes, but at the end of the section, you can jump over the triggers that like put it back. So now you can do the entire level with two jumps and two dashes, which is very broken for Tess. <laughs> And here we jump around a trigger that sets your dashes back to one just to avoid like getting it set reset. This task kind of just speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the trigger skip saves almost a minute. Well, did anybody ever route it without trigger skip? I don't uh, think no. <laughs> A lot of time. Like one. We have about 40 seconds of gameplay left. Yeah, farewell. This two hours came by really quickly. Yeah, yeah they went really by good. really, really fast. And <laughs> we didn't I even have about time that. to go over everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, Not even there's so much more that we could have. Touch, oh, but just didn't have time. 147.34. IGT. Yeah, yeah right. the original, yeah, the very first draft used to be a 150.17. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's. <laughs> it's not Thanks, for letting, <laughs> Thanks for letting us show this off. Oh my yeah, god. Seriously, it's been, a, yeah. it's been an absolute honor to be here. Um, yeah, it's so been. Much fun. It's, it's this has been so fun, even though it's super uh, dead, super late go here. To the museum? Yeah, we can if we have, we, uh, have time? we have time. I don't know. Do we have time? Uh, let me confirm that real quick, and I'll let you know. I think. All right. Well, I'm gonna just get there in case. So one of the really cool things uh, that we put in here, um, they, like I said, there's a lot of people that worked on this and in the prologue i just got told you guys have plenty of time yo so. let's go uh so this okay. is something that everyone needs to check out for sure if you guys want to where do you want to go first uh tassers duh <laughs> <laughs> dang <laughs> where'd we put those guys they put those in like the the very end of this or what bottom left yep. how right. about we, we, we go right here let's go there's like Oh look at all this! This is yeah, beautiful. Yeah, very, uh, very, very. All right, let's let's go through this. Let's go through this. Who's who's reading them? Let's go one by one. You want to just cycle through this them? Is, all? Yep. Go ahead. This is the task team. We're gonna shout out everyone on the task team. Saying fish to chill out mountain a little bit misleading, but we'll give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, what order are we doing this in? I'll just go. You uh, go. Overall, uh, you ma I made a task, he made a task, for a total of 15 maps in the co-ed. Nice. Not even on comments. He was on comments for last showcase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did Trenches of Jellies. Shout out to him. Yeah, big shout out. Lenvilla, addicted to tasks, and I did 11 maps so far. Fun fact, about 10 seconds of task gameplay takes an hour to do. I mean, depends on the maps and... It depends takes even longer. On, yeah. And depends on whether Sometimes or not. Sometimes you can spend five try. hours on 30 frames. <laughs> Two days yeah. on frames. I speed task because I don't try to optimize. <laughs> so I'll be done in like a couple hours. All right, who's taking next? Marlin, I got it. I helped task two maps, which were Forest of the Ancients, Dad Bod map, and Abandoned and Ruined. Who's got ML Seg? Uh. I guess me. Oh, Hello, dunce. I'm ML Seg, mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed tassing for the collab. Tassing in collaboration with other people was a new experience for me, and I'm glad I chose to be a part of it. Shout out to ML Seg, you're awesome. Uh, I've tasked a total of 13 maps. I've also helped optimize a few tasks by other people. Boom, boom. Tell who that's it. <laughs> that is <laughs> Rich Connor, and I've made a task for four maps. Uh, who's this? joker go ahead and take that one vamp <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> bissy wrote this one 
everybody had such a like hyped like thinking around every time I would make one because I drafted like on a map like at least once a day because I was really passionate and into it. Boom. Oh wow. Made a task for twenty eight maps. Yeah. So about a third of it. I am Sasha Bell. I made a task for the map the heck ninety. <laughs> That's all the <laughs> And that's it. <laughs> I feel like I might have maybe should have put a bit more in there. Uh, <laughs> I I I I only tasked one map, but then I optimized a lot of stuff after. So that's that draft. Yeah, same all, here. Got all I, Same I, with a lot of people actually. Um, a yeah. lot of people. A lot of people um weren't in, weren't involved in making the original collab. Um, task because oh, yeah. they weren't in the Discord and then um, got involved afterwards. So um, that's why people like me aren't uh, in just because uh, I joined after like a call for Tassers was sent out, so I never same knew with, about it. Same with Kataiser, um and I mean, same with loads of people, honestly. Um, so do I get to and, do mine? Uh, having said that, do I get to do mine? No. Okay. Sure. No, I, I didn't. Yeah, you get to read yours. Oh, okay. Of course. You kidding me? You can read yours. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Bissy, you guys like these? All these uh, icons. Bissy busted a whole bunch of these things out. I actually, I really like oh, this yeah. one. That's fantastic. <laughs> Bissy, I was one of the administrators of the collab. I mainly managed the day-to-day -day activities of the mappers. I was a large part of the quality control, including being the captain of the beginner and expert difficulties, which meant I supervised all maps involved. Bissy. Bissy made a lot of this possible. Like, if you ever see Bissy in real life or on the internet, you just give him a big hug because the, the amount of work that Bissy put in for this is just absolutely nuts. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, sorry. I am DadBod. I was the person who started the collab and managed the big picture stuff, though Bissy took care of a, a lot of the big picture stuff, too. Uh, as a playtesting captain, I playtested and helped out nearly every map and also consistently worked on the collab to help out anyone who needed assistance. Beautiful. There are, the the credits in here are just insane. Like there's so many yeah. people that put all this stuff together. It's Yeah. Oh. I was going to it's say, truly think, a behemoth of a of a project. I was gonna say I think we should just recap the do do the credits. Again, just for anyone who missed the start of this. Yes, um, yes, yes, please. So, once again, um, thank you to um, Deluke H, Dan, Universe Cat, Fish McMuffins, Gripperal, Katizer, Lan Villa, LM Jax, Marlin, Masrock9, ML Seg, Nebs, Rich Connor GMN, Sasha Bell, Squeal, The Roboman, Tilo5457, Trujan, Tyron, Vamp, Vitellary, and Wafer. Um, they've all helped um, task this. It's been, you know, we've been doing this for months, and we will continue to do so. Um, it's, it's really been a pleasure to, to task this and to do this Seriously. showcase for all of you guys as well. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, guys. Contributed. Yeah, frame. thanks for thanks for having me. Cool. Yeah, and I guess with that, uh, we will call it a night, guys. I know, and this is just speaking because we've had this we've had this group chat for like the last like week, and we've just been talking. And I know a lot of people were like stressing out about this, but you guys really did a fantastic job. Like you brought the passion that you've had to put this project together. And I think you've done a really good job of conveying it. I know it's hard to speak really fast because there's a lot of stuff going on, but like to everyone who was uh, just doing commentary with me, like I really appreciate you guys. You did, you absolutely rocked it out. That's going to be all for us. I appreciate you guys watching and we will turn it back over. And until next time. Thank you.